Pat Driscoll, Jeffrey Anderson, and Roger Ayers. It is the 33rd meeting between Marquette and St. John's, and it's the Golden Eagles in the visiting gold controlling the tip. St. John's opens up in man-to-man. -man. You know, they're a kind of gambling team. A lot of guys able to switch and play other people. That versatility helps them tremendously. Open shot from the corner, and it's good. Karnaseka Arena, 5,600 jam-packed in the alley. Kevin Clark and Pons and the Red Storm. Pons drives, lays it in. Events of St. John's. They're not going to allow anybody to post them up down low without help. Pons drives, the baseline lays it in, and one. Pons grabs the board. Here comes the Red Storm. And he's on the attack. Yes, he is. Steve Wojciechowski doesn't want to take the chance. And Marcus Howes picks up the quick second. Pons drives. Got it. Hauser. Eight on the shot clock. Long three. And it goes in. It's amazing. Officials are as human as the players and yeah. the coaches. And, and unfortunately, sometimes what's fair and correct don't intersect. Percent shooter from beyond the arc, but had a wide open look, so why not? Marvin Clark to step back. And no one is. Mikey yep. Dixon is checked in as well. Inside, Simon. Pulses up. Howard. That's Mousen at three point line. They've made him put it down. The ball down and drive. Like that. Here's Hauser. And he lays it in. Here for the Red Storm. Simon. Pulls up. Got it. He plays that isolation ball better than St. John's. Every guy capable beating you off the bounce, knocking down the three. How about that entry pass in the moral who tried to flush it. Fall in love now with penetrating kick, but sometimes you go cold on the three. You got to start working it inside again. Sarkar Anum throws it away. Hauser. Howard. Pull up. Got it. Uh-oh. But then in transition, Marquette again, under control. Able to find their guy. Pons to Simon. Three, yes. Marcus Howard's one of those guys that can get hot at any time. Here's Hauser inside. The freshman again. Inside. Theo John working on the block on Simon. Shot rejected as Marvin Clark came over to help out. Good on Howard, who fronts him. Figueroa, the drive, floater, yes. Back outside and reset. Gold, the Golden Eagles had gone over in the last set of the basket. And that's something you expect Marquette to, be able to exploit even more. Here's Heron, working on the freshman. Reach in by Chartuni. Clark, the three, yes. Hey, what you do with the ball. Here's Sam Hauser. In the lane, Fage, got it. 15 now. Brian Trimble has checked in. Pons, down the lane, banks oh, it home. Man. The screen set for him. Good backdoor screen and cut. Four point lead for the Red Storm. The Big East, fourth and scoring. Not He's got some life in those legs. Kane cuts and lays it in. Average is 18. He's got 17 already. He'll pull up again. Got it! CAA, two transfer. Didn't have to sit out a year. And boy, did that make not only his mom happy, but St. John's Oh, well. absolutely. Skip pass to Howard. He pulls up, knocks it down. It's a three. So Carr in him now with three fouls. He's guarding Ponds. Speaking of too late, he might have been a victim of his own size and strength right there. I'm not necessarily sure that was an offensive foul in the true sense of the word. Happen to recognize this and use that. Look at Shamari Pons or Theo John. They don't recognize that mismatch. Bailey. But know that he's there. Chartuni, left hand, got it. Chartuni was a three-year starter at Fordham. Transferring in to Marquette. And lead here for the Red Storm.
the alley-oop to Figueroa. Largest lead of the game for the Red Storm. You get rubbed off on screen. That's lack of communication by the defense. Inside the moral. He lays it in. Clark. Got it. Hold. And then they've got to push ahead. And it's going to happen on the defensive end as much as any place. Shot no. The follow. Four players with three fouls. Simon. Lays it in. Now Pons. They've got numbers. Uh -oh. Three on two. Clark for three. Yes! Clark pull up for a three. So which decision did he make? The right one. To get it to Clark. 16 from Marvin Clark. Hauser fades. And it rolls in. Heron. Uh -oh. Not Mismatch, but the way this team is flowing offensively, ball movement would have served them better. Hauser puts it on the floor to Adam. Euro step, left hand, yes. Closest team averaging almost 80 points a game. They're capable of making the same kind of comeback. Oh, Samari Pons. You gotta be careful. The old John getting into it there. All he did was put his hands, John put his hands on the ball. It was a nuisance, annoying. Figueroa in the lane. Yes. Check back in for the Golden Eagles. Hey, that's what you do. Here's Clark, the kick out. Heron, open three. Yes. Inside out. Over Marquette. That's nice low. Chartuni. Nice little gift. Sam Hauser got the three. No. Much better job by St. John's getting over the screen, switching when they need to. Hauser missed that open look. Got it back, gets another crack, and doesn't miss. For the last four. He's got ten now. But he was pretty much shut down a lot due to foul trouble. There's Clark. It presents itself, and that's actually a good thing. Morrow, the bucket and one. Heron drives the baseline. Oh! Hey, Johnson, I don't blame them. They got the advantage. Can't play defense like that. Ten. Simon. That pass. Left hand. The follow. L.J. Figueroa. Red Storm starters are in double figures. Only hit one or two from the line. Morrow. Clark. Euro stepping. And late the Red Storm has put up here tonight. Marquette was holding teams to just 66 points a game. There's the dunk. Some of the young Red Storm players to get some playing time. Here's the freshman. Williams drives, lays it in. And you can see yeah. the project that continues to get better. And you see they've got some explosiveness, but they've got to find a way to survive if Marcus Howard's not on. Well, the Red Storm get their largest win against a ranked opponent since 1998.